I well, welcome guys. It is the Gasman here, and I have played every Walking Dead seasons except season four. The reason why I'm doing season one, I'm on the definite edition. The reason why I'm starting on season one is because I want to start like brand new because I kind of forgot everything that happens. Standard. A new day. Usually when I stream, my quality's horse, so that's why I am streaming, not streaming, but recording. This is my first time I record a Telltale game. Turn down audio here. Because audio is like a little too loud. I'm actually going to put on the 7. There we go. Yeah, this is still too loud. I'm going to put on the 5. Settings, audio. Yeah, there we go, that's better. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really Does matter? It really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making it then? Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. Family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Got my church with us. Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. It could be a dude. <laughs> I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. 
Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property. Back. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? <laughs> they caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys oh. came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more uh, hilarious if I do see so. Watch out! This other time... <laughs> You're more of the um, talkative type that you don't care about what's on the road, I see. Copper, are you okay over there? Hey, hey officer, are you all right? He's hundred percent okay. He's hundred percent okay. He's not dead. No, he's right straight in the funnel way to get out of the car. Oh, there we go. I need to drag myself out that window. Uh huh. I'm trying to press that. <laughs> Or the down D-pad, because I remember that word. I'm gonna pick up that shotgun shell because it'll probably be. I uh, probably can. I don't know how I can. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because it's for um, reasons. Officer? God damn. Yeah, I don't think he's okay. He's okay. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just sleeping on the job like old Jer old I don't old Gerald does. Pick that up. Do do do. Oh hello, Gerald. What you doing? Officer. Oh, all right, right. Hello, Gerald. What you doing, Gerald? Am I gonna get this shotgun, Gerald? Oh, uh, what side is the shotgun on? Um, other side. Oh, oh, my bad. We don't talk about what I was wondering. Ah, uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm this is getting a little too close to comfort. 
Hello, big boy. Bye. I'm so sorry, Gerald. You were sleeping on the job. I kind of went to sleep a little too long, and I guess you turned into a walker, but that's... Ah. Uh. Man. You remember when it used to be shadows? <laughs> Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Okay, Lee, you can get up. Oh. Did it. I don't know why that was so loud, but hey. <laughs> Look at that hand. It's just a uh, old friendly jock. I'm gonna... Hello? Anybody? I'm just gonna go straight to where you're supposed to go to the door of the house where I'm breaking in, entering. No one's gonna ever know. I wonder if anybody's home. Nah, no one is. Just go in. We're breaking in already. Hello? <laughs> Anybody home? I need a little help. Open up. Yeah, it's unlocked. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. And anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Wrong person. Uh -huh. You need to be quiet. Who is this? 
I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Yeah, I shall jump down and break your neck. I'm just gonna not do that. All right. Have fun having a concussion. Get, uh, get off of me. Eh. Ow. Get off of me. Give me that hammer. I need the hammer. I need the hammer. Get it. Give me it. <laughs> I think, I think it's dead. I think you went a little overkill there. Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. Now nah, she be a zombie after getting bit. through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know. Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look out! Get out of here! When the sun goes down, now. We need to find <laughs> help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I got one zombie kill to my name. <laughs> I'm, I'm crippled. I broke my. I actually, I kind of sprained. Not sprained. I like almost broke me. <laughs> oh man. I ain't never getting home. Nah, bro. This, uh, this sucks. Well, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey man. hey man! Holy shit! Holy shit. Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. 
How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just, Just some, some guy. guy. <laughs> some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. You gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, well. I go. You know, it's pretty sad that um, a little girl is helping, but not you. I'm just saying. Just some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Just some guy that escaped from a prison car. <laughs> No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. And quiet as usual. I'm gonna end this recording so I can start the next one, so I don't have to start the other one later, so eh. Uh... Okay, let's Wrecking do down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Why do I say no? Oh, wait. Uh, car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Wait. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. I'm That's such a good liar. Your <laughs> soul will definitely remember life. that. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious 
shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Oh, look. Okay, that'd be perfect. That's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manor. Ah! Shit. <gasps> I had to. I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Cliff. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. And you go back to sleep, Lee, and you have dreams about killing your wa or killing that dude again. I love you, baby. Hey, get up. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Like you're about to play farming simulator. I can keep I'm an eye on up. the here on the porch. We can visit. There's really nothing I can do. All I can do right now is just talk to people. Hey there, uh, Kenny. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. 
Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. There we go. Do you need any help? What do you Mental mean? help. <laughs> I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. Talk to them after in there. Uh, I'm gonna guess I'll talk to them. And I'll go talk to Duck and uh. Hey, there, guys name. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. <laughs> yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Yeah, my mistake is I'm probably going back to the prison or jail, so hey. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Duck and uh, forgot his name. And stuck on tree. What? Uh. Oh, Sean. Uh. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Okay. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Do you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. to shoot one I could shoot one maybe if it were far away I'm just glad we're getting this fence built dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there how about yours how's your family I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is ah oh yeah for sure that's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. 
Go. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Ah. But sir, I follow. I know what you're I talking about. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, yeah. I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Oh, yep. <laughs> now she's gonna get mad at me. Yep. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Learn how to lie. Yep. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Doc, what did you do? Help, Doc. Trying. Now he's Now you're gonna get the hell out of here. Yep. Get the fuck out of here! Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. You got that ride to make it if you want it.
This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. But but up but up Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yep, not friendly. Shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Uh, <laughs> he wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's we kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, yep, shut the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah? There's someone in there. Oh, yeah. The counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Man, 
You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? I'll get you the medicine, I guess. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. Blood pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the into Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Okay. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. I'm going to pick up these snacks and batteries. Three energy batteries. We can't let anything happen. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Uh, oh, there's another energy bar. Eh. Oh, I can't give Doug one dang. I can give her one, probably Larry. <laughs> that much but here you go thank you of course now nah, fuck you anyways let's go to the office to get There we go. Um. I can't. I can't think about them in here.
find anything? Oh. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. Nah, it's not gonna let me. Salmon, uh, betting. This is Dad Kane, yep. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Okay, uh... Guess I'll talk to Clementine first. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. I oh, like I can slam okay. that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. So I see that we're dissing on soccer. Well, eh. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Because they're dead. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I 
got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. I don't think that much blood's supposed to come out. <laughs> like, when you, uh... I'll find you a bandage. Whatever. 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 I don't... Uh... It used to be like a little bit in the original, I think. Uh, here you go. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. come home and I'm not there. They'll uh, track us down. I'm seeing all crazy pieces. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Mm. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. You're a pretty good shot. Uh, well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. 